hi and welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to be talking about a topic that is so close to my heart so dear to me the highest paying jobs in nursing in the uk and look when i say the uk don't worry about that because even if you're in canada you look at australia you look at new zealand you look at the us of a the highest paying jobs are kind of the same more or less the same across all these countries because look nursing is one what changes is your geographical location, but the job you're doing is exactly the same. So again, let me put a disclaimer out there. Whether you're a mental health nurse, you're a general nurse, you're an adult nurse, you're a learning disability nurse, you're, you know, a children's nurse, it doesn't matter because these five jobs that I'm going to say, you can do them from any specialty. So you just have to make sure that, you know, if you're thinking about career progression, you're wise, you're smart, and look, you're on top of your game. Because the truth is that for you to be paid more, you need to have the skills that are high value skills, that are high income skills, that are high paying skills. And the, the similarity between these five jobs I'm going to talk about is that they all come with very high value skills. Because look, the highest paying jobs and the high value skills, they're very similar and they go hand in hand. So obviously, you know, I'm going to be telling you the five highest paying jobs in nursing so if you're new to my channel obviously you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber obviously you know i appreciate your time and i do hope that you're implementing these things that i'm saying because look i'm not here to waste my time i don't want to waste your time either i don't want you worse still wasting your own time so you need to implement the things that i'm talking about and by the way you know, I'm all about career progression in the UK, visa sponsorship opportunities, you know, starting those side hustles, work from home opportunities, you know, starting that side business. It's absolutely Shemay's balls and something that you must be thinking about right now, even if you're in healthcare. So if you check the comment section below, you're going to see a link to my newsletter. If you join that newsletter, then obviously I'm going to send that information directly to your inbox so that you never miss out. So if you click on this video and you like this content, then yes, that newsletter is going to 100% be for you. It's not even going to take you up to 20 seconds to join the newsletter. All you need is your name and your email and every single information that I've got, every single juicy, you know, helpful personal development, professional development, you know what I mean, finance, money, budget, making more money, online opportunities, I'll send it directly to you. So that's what I'm all about. So let's get started with the first job. And look, I'm not saying these jobs in any particular order, which means, you know, I'm just going to say them in any order, you definitely want to hear all five because it's going to make your mind think and you're going to go, oh my goodness, which one is best for me? So obviously the third job is the best one that I'm absolutely kind of thinking, hmm, I should probably get into the, into that. So that's the third job that I'm going to share. So you want to make sure that you stick around. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you want to hit subscribe right now, turn on the notification button. So you're the first to be notified every single day when I drop a new video on here, because look, I'm committed to bringing you the best as far as, you know, personal and professional development is concerned so that you can have your best life here in this beautiful country, the UK. So the first job is working as an advanced nurse practitioner and look this is what i do this is my job it is not by chance that i chose this job because look it is very highly paid so obviously i know that generally nurses are not paid enough but the truth is for my job being an advanced nurse practitioner here in the uk i'm quite happy with how much i'm paid personally as a nurse even though i acknowledge that generally nurses need to be paid more but i know that i'm paid enough I'm paid well for the job that I do. So when you're an advanced nurse practitioner, you may be thinking, what do you do? And by the way, if you're new here, you don't know who I am. So my name is Melvis. Like I've said, I work for the NHS as an, as an advanced nurse practitioner. And I moved to the UK, you know, in 2011 as an international student. I started my career working as a carer in a nursing home caring for dementia patients and then decided to train as a nurse so you know studied here as an international student three years completed keen on career progression i've progressed right now to this position so i've got a private career coaching service where i support nurses carers student nurses prospective student nurses and students with career progression in the uk so if you're thinking oh my god melvis i'm interested in these jobs that you're saying but I don't know how to go about it. Get in contact with me because look, I've got online courses. I've got a private coaching program where I've got all this information, step-by-step -step guide on how you become all these different jobs, you know, nurse, lecturer, whatever it is that you want. And I also support with interview preparation. I support with career progression. If you're a carer, you want to get into nursing. What's the best pathway? Because look, there are so many different pathways. So again, if you check the comment section, 
you know, you can see a link that I'm going to keep leave there. But most importantly, if you check the about section of this YouTube channel, you're going to see a link to my private coaching program, which is called Nursing Career Bootcamp. Look, you're going to have access to all the resources that you need to be able to succeed, to thrive and to excel in your nursing career here in the UK. So that's what I do. And like I've said, I work as an advanced nurse practitioner. So this job, you may be thinking, hmm, Melvis, what do you do as a nurse practitioner? So basically what I do is take on roles that traditionally would be done by doctors, generally, you know, senior doctors. So even though you're a nurse, you can have extra training so that you can take on jobs that would normally be done by a senior doctor. So when I go to work, um, you know, basically you're working with doctors, you're doing a job that would be done by a doctor, even though you're a nurse. So that's what I do at work. And, you know, it's just amazing. You're very well paid. Obviously, even the NHS pays pretty well. You can expect to earn, like recently, for example, one of my colleagues had a job where she's earning like £65,000 per year and they've actually given her a bonus of £1,200 per month if she stays on that job for the next three years, which means that she's being paid a, a bit, her basic salary of £65,000 and they are also paying her £1,200 every month if she stays on the job. And that's because this particular employer has struggled to employ anybody and it's just been a massive pain, you know, to find someone. So she's finally agreed to do the job and they're like, hey, we're going to really reward you because we need somebody. So again, being an advanced nurse practitioner is one of the highest paying jobs in nursing, you know, in all these countries. So it doesn't matter whether it's US, Canada, UK, it's one of the highly paid jobs. So that's the first one. The next one is a nurse endoscopist. Look, working as a nurse endoscopist is one of the highest paying jobs as well in nursing. But look, all these jobs require extra training, obviously, from your basic degree as a nurse, obviously, because, you know, like I've said, these are skills that you acquire, high value skills that enable you to be able to earn more. So when you're a nurse endoscopist, again, you're taking on a role that would traditionally be done by doctors. Generally, um, nurse endoscopies, they do things like gastroscopies, they do um, flexible sigmoidoscopies, they do um, colonoscopies, they can review those patients, they can prescribe, you know, just like nurse, advanced nurse practitioners as well. So there are many um, similarities across these roles in terms of the advanced skills that you have to acquire as a nurse to be able to perform these tasks and to be able to thrive within these roles because they require extensive education, they require extensive training, they require a lot of confidence, a lot of leadership skills and advanced skills that you know you need to develop as a junior nurse to then get into those positions. So nurse endoscopies, that's what they do. They generally take on roles that would normally be done by um, gastroenterologists as well as colorectal surgeons. So you can imagine, you know, having to take on that responsibility, it is a lot. So nurse endoscopies are among the highest paid nurses, you know, in the world, really. So that's the second one. And by the way, you know, how do you feel about these? What is your ideal specialty as a nurse that you would like to progress into? I'd like to leave a comment in the comment section. You know, what's your job right now? What's your ideal job? What are you doing to get there? Do you need any support? If you do, what do you need support with? Because I want this video to be a learning experience. I want it to be um, a supportive experience where we're here to support each other, to make sure that if you're struggling to get to where you need to get to, you get the right support that you deserve. So leave it in the comment section below. But like I've said, if you need my personalized support, my individualized support, you need that tailored support for you, then consider joining my private coaching program, Nursing Career Bootcamp, because there we do all these things. We talk about all of this. We've got nurses across different specialties, different levels, and you know, it's all about career progression, interview preparation, what do you need, what courses are going on, how do you get to, in fact, the whole shebang. So that's what it's all about. And so the third one, you know, the third one, which like I said, is a job that I hold really, really close to my heart and that I really, really love is look, working as an occupational health nurse. Look, if you're an occupational health nurse, it is one of the highest paying specialties in nursing, not only because of the actual job, but is the potential that it has, which again is similar to the previous three roles that we've spoken about, is the fact that if you get to private organizations, you've got the potential to earn over a hundred thousand pounds 
with these jobs. And that is why they're so powerful. That's why they're so highly paid. So you may be thinking, if you're an occupational health nurse, what do you actually do? So as an occupational health nurse, you're going to be supporting staff. You're supporting people with their own health. Let's say for the NHS, for example, the occupational health nurses will be supporting the staff with their own health. So they'll be checking, like, have you done your immunizations? You know, if you're unwell, you go see them. You know, if you've got any challenges regarding, you know, adjustments that need to be made, those, you know, they can offer that advice to your employer and say oh we don't think melvi should be working you know night shift she can only work day she's got this xyz condition we think that melvis is xyz you know all of those things are not fit for work or whatever so that's what they do but why this specialty is so highly paid like i said is the potential in private companies you know and how much you earn you know like insurance companies recruit occupational health nurses and look they pay over a hundred thousand pounds yes i know people nurses in the uk that earn over a hundred thousand pounds working as occupational health nurses so again it's the high value skills that you have to acquire that then make you such a high earner you know so again if you're thinking about your specialties you're thinking hmm, i want to progress you need to be thinking really wise you need to be thinking really smart because at the end of the day the specialties are not all the same you know for example if you've noticed all the three jobs that we've talked about so far, there's known in management because you may be thinking, hmm, if I become a deputy manager or a manager, how come? Like, why is that not on the list? The thing is that most of these jobs is not actually a skill that is measurable. It's not a skill that is tangible enough. It's not you don't require you don't necessarily require any like extra academic training or qualifications to get into management. And so because of that. Career progression in management tends to be very subjective as far as I'm concerned because it's simply a matter of somebody looking at you and saying, oh, Melvis, you performed so well at this interview. Congratulations, we're going to give you the job. So it's more, it's very subjective. But if you're training, say, as a nurse endoscopist or as an, as an advanced nurse practitioner or, or occupational health nurse, there is actual tangible training that you need to go through to get those qualifications to enable you become a specialist in that field and that is what makes you to earn more money because you've got that academic backing to say look i've done this it's not just a matter of somebody saying to me melvis we're going to give you the interview the job because you perform well at the interview no it's more about the skill that you've got that nobody can take away from you and that's why these jobs again are very highly paid and by the way if you like this content i want you to hit that like button because it lets me know you're enjoying content like this and obviously i should do more again What's your specialty? Are you a nurse right now? Are you still planning to get into nursing? What, you know, what is your objective? What is your, when you look at yourself 10, 20 years from now, where do you see yourself? What do you see yourself doing? Again, leave it in the comment section below and I'm going to join you there. Again, if you haven't joined my newsletter, again, check the comment section below. All you need to do is drop your name and email and look, I'm going to send you the juiciest information about career progression, side hustle ideas, you know, visa sponsorship opportunities in the UK, as well as work from home opportunities. Because as you know, I'm all about retiring early before I'm 40 years old. So I'm on a mission to find everything that is going to enable me to achieve that in the easiest and the smoothest way possible so i'm obviously more than happy to share that information to share that journey obviously with your humble self so let's move to job number four and look we've still got another one which is like my all-time favorite and i just cannot talk highly enough about this other job so we're thinking about aesthetics nurse look if you're working as an aesthetic nurse it is a very highly paid job because it's mainly private practice and private practice because people are willing to pay a lot of money to look good. People are willing to pay thousands of pounds to look amazing because when they look good, obviously they feel better about themselves. It helps with their mental health and look, it is a very highly paid specialty in nursing if you want to work in that field. And you may be thinking aesthetic nurses, what do they actually do? So obviously there's things like Botox, you know, injections, you know, lip fillers and, you know, all those sorts of things. Um, tattoo removers, laser, you know, all those sorts of treatment, you know, like just well-being really that's what it's all about looking good aesthetics as per the name. So if you're again looking for you're somebody who is very keen on like, you know, beauty and things like that this would be perfect for you getting into aesthetics nursing and also you've got the potential to make a lot of money because with this one if you train in it and then you open your own business oh my goodness you're gonna be oozing with money you're gonna be touching lives you're gonna be 
making such a huge impact on the lives of your patients and that's going to come with not only the gratification obviously and the fulfillment that comes with making such a difference in somebody's life but it's also going to come with a whole lot of money and look there's nothing wrong with earning more money because yes you know we need to be paid for what we do rightfully so i'm somebody that i don't waste any time saying that money is good for you and if you're working if you're offering a service yes you can as well be well paid for the service that you're offering and there's no reason to be like oh my god you know if you're earning more money then that's bad you should be hell no you deserve what you're getting so please please if you're thinking about these specialties you need to think wise you need to think smart you need to think long term because long term was going to be best for you. Long term was going to give you the best quality of life. Long term was going to make you more fulfilled. And most importantly, was going to make you want to stay in nursing. You don't want to choose a specialty that's going to cause resentment. That's going to make you sit and think, oh my God, I wish I never got into nursing. Oh, you don't want that. And that's why I'm here to make sure that you've got all the info that you need to be able to get to the best place that you deserve to be in your nursing journey. Um, and obviously, if you're part of my bootcamp, nursing career, you know, nursing career bootcamp, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Career progression is my bread and butter, is something that I live and breathe, is something that I think every single nurse, every single person should be able to progress to the best position that they want, that they like, and that they deserve. Because look, the job is so incredibly stressful, it's so demanding that you don't want to be there just pulling your legs. You want to be there because you want to be there. That's what I mean. And that is my mission. So again, if you haven't checked out my private coaching program, check the about section of this channel. It's called nursing, or just simply go to the good old Google, put nursing career, you know, there's Melvis Career Coaching or Nursing Career Bootcamp, and it's going to pop up and you're going to be like, oh my goodness, I should definitely join this because it's what I need to be able to move to the next stage, to be able to step up my game and to be able to, you know, just get to your ideal job. So they can enjoy nursing, you can be well paid for what you do because look, there's nothing absolutely wrong with that. It is normal with any career, with any profession, you know, that you're well paid for your hard work. Nursing is no different. Nursing is no different. So again, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you want to hit subscribe right now, turn on that notification button so you're the first to be notified when I drop a new video on here. Because like I say, I'm on a mission to bring to you the best when it comes to nursing, when it comes to career progression, when it comes to side hustle ideas and work from home you know, global work from home opportunities. So let's get to job number five, which again is one of the highest paying specialties of all times, you know, in nursing in every single country is a nurse anesthetist. And look, when I say nurse anesthetist, I don't want you to be mistaken and think I'm talking about anesthetic nurse. The two things are not the same. So a nurse anesthetist is not the same and as an anesthetic nurse, the two roles are completely different. The highest paying job that I'm talking about here is a nurse anesthetist. Because when you're an anesthetic nurse, you're simply just a normal nurse. You could be band five even, just working within that area. But if you're a nurse anesthetist, then you've undergone that training or you're undergoing the relevant training to be able to specialize in anesthetics. That is the difference, is the specializing in anesthetics so that you're supporting the anesthetist who is generally obviously a medical doctor. They train in medical and you're supporting them you know with that patient that is the difference because i've seen people who are like hey i'm an anesthetic nurse it's the highest paying job i'm like girl no it isn't because it's a nurse anesthetist the two things again are different there's always a lot of confusion with these two roles but you know you need to make sure that if you're keen on one you need to know the role exactly because sometimes it's not just the name that is called but it's actually the role you know the job description what are you doing on a daily basis what is the pay as well the pay should reflect it because if somebody says that a job is the highest paying job in nursing and you have a look and it's paying twenty seven thousand, how is that highest paying of course it isn't because highest paying jobs you know like all the jobs i've mentioned you can expect to earn obviously in excess of 50 60 70 pounds per year even if you work for the nhs and if you have to go private, OMG, you're going to be oozing with money because there's a lot of money when it comes to these five jobs that we've spoken about, you know, you know, because privately they need the staff, they need the skills. And look, private organizations are not generally willing to sponsor anybody for these jobs. What they want is they want people that are already trained already experienced, already skilled, already expert and confident within these jobs. And that's why. You know, you need to find somewhere where you can be able to get that training, get the relevant experience, and then 
that's when you really benefit well from you know all of that hard work so you need to make sure that you're very strategic again which one do you like the most you need to be very smart if you're choosing your career progression pathway you need to be thinking long term not necessarily short term because if you think short term it's very difficult to do anything but when you think long term you're likely to make the best decisions for yourself and again if you need advice support with career progression you need that personalized, that tailored, that individualized support. Get in contact with me, you know, either through my newsletter. If you've got anything you want to ask, you can get in contact with me through my newsletter because it's got my email as well as my WhatsApp number. And then I'll get in touch with you. But if you need that tailored support, like I've said, you need that individualized support, then consider joining my private coaching program. The program is not free. But it is so affordable. It's just £79 and look per month. And that is absolutely nothing for what you get. If you if you think about the fact that when you get into these positions, you're earning thousands of pounds. You know, the effect that it has on your morale, on your mental health, you know, your career progression, your family. Just like it is absolutely mind-blowing. And look, money cannot even be the obstacle that's going to stop you. Of course, you're watching this. But if you're watching my videos, you know what I mean? It's not... If that's not what's going to stop you because when you're a high achiever when you're somebody who is a go-getter you you see things in terms of value you need to see things in terms of value i can't stress that enough because some people don't see value they're thinking hmm okay but you need to think what value am i getting out of this so again what do you think about these these roles which one has surprised you which one did you know that was gonna make it on the list which one are you thinking hmm melvis why isn't this on the list why have you named five different jobs and you're saying the highest paying i thought xyz job was the highest paying job in nursing why isn't it there and by the way this channel i've done lots of videos about interview preparation you know different career pathways also in nursing and like i've said if you're part of my private coaching program you get courses actually detailing and guide you through the process to become all these different jobs that we've mentioned high paying skills how do you acquire them how do you use them because look it's all about career progression so keep watching the videos again share this with your colleagues with your contacts with your network with your relatives so they can benefit from it because the career progression is key you don't want to get stuck at band five because it's not for you so keep watching the videos